welcome back everybody um first of all happy new year hope your 2026 goes um as well as last year did for you if it went well um if not I do hope things do get better but um just a quick video just to um go through the snow mode and why it's so good and to show you what it actually does um so obviously what first and foremost of what it does it basically softens the throttle response which then that obviously reduces the initial torque you get from the initial acceleration uh optimizes your uh, traction control for like your slippery surfaces like your snow ice uh wet roads that just in turn obviously uh prevents like your wheel spinning uh so it obviously promotes you for smoother acceleration and better control um so when when can you use it or when when is the best to use it so its primary use is for obviously as it says driving in snow mode but you can also use it on very icy conditions uh, such as uh, black ice might not help as much on that but it can be useful uh, slushy roads so when it's been snow snowing and it obviously rains afterwards and we get that horrible slippy nasty mush on the ground you can use it in that because that will impact your tires it will pack up your, your grips your treads in your tires which then obviously that reduces your um your traction to the road this using snow mode helps to overcome that um you can also use it on uh, like wet roads uh when it's so i don't know if you've ever come across it but come up to a junction when it's absolutely pouring it down you set off normally and your front wheels spin um so if you use snow mode in them conditions because of the reduced um torque and throttle response you'll actually get a smoother uh pull off uh to proceed forward the only thing i would say is because of the reduced torque and stuff like that give yourself a little bit more time to pull out because you will you'll see the excuse me you'll see the reduction in the uh accelerator and you'll feel like you've not got as much power which is you know part and parcel of using a mode like this believe it or not another instance you can use this in is uh hilly trains <laughs> so um so like uh if you're going up through like the Yorkshire Moors, stuff like that, uh, or if you're over in France or Europe or whatever like that, the hills of like uh, through Sweden and stuff like that, France, especially in Spain, uh, again, poor weather, ice, snow, but over in France and Spain, more Spain, you might not get as much snow, but France, Sweden, that place, Germany, you know, use it in them conditions so you know like uh it will benefit you going up in them sort of roads and stuff like that um you know it's a very benefit beneficial thing to use uh and i do actually use mine uh on in pretty poor weather uh, respectful if it's irrespective sorry if it's uh, been raining or whatever um, so basically all you would do is you come over to your steering wheel, press your mode button. No, sorry, not your mode button, not your steering wheel, completely ignore that. The mode button on your centre console, so you come to that one, uh, and you will come down, click snow field. You'll notice it'll turn like your uh, traction control and stuff like that off, which is a bit, you think it's a bit counterintuitive, counterintuitive. Should I say, um, but yeah, so there you go, that's what it will look like in snow mode. I do wish, uh, as you see, we get the uh, nice graphic behind on snowfield mode. We we'll just get these boring ones on normal eco sport, apart from color changing there. But for some reason, on snowfield, we get a lovely graphic on the display. And I do wish we could get something like that on all the other modes as well. Just to make the uh, dashboard a little bit more interesting 
But uh, yeah, use the mode button on your centre console to switch over to snow field mode and that will benefit you greatly in poor weather situations. Uh, this sort of system does work better on all-wheel drive systems. So like if you've got the, um, say for instance, the seal UDMI like I have, I've got the boost model, but if you've got the um, design model with the all-wheel drive system, this will actually work better in, uh, in that model. But this gives you uh, a sort of off-road mode, if you will, in the comfort and boost models. Uh, but again, it will work better. Uh, but yeah, uh, just a very quick video, really. Not that informative, I would imagine, to some people. But I just thought I'd do this video because I've seen it around on other groups that I'm in. Asking people asking what it does and what it doesn't do and stuff like that. So again, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, and thank you very much, everybody who has subscribed, liked, commented on uh, my videos up to now. And I hope to keep bringing you um, more content. Um, I'm not a professional by any means or any stretch of the imagination. I'm just a normal, regular guy um, putting himself out there just to help you out. So again, thank you very much to each and every single one of you. And I'll see you in the next one.